guys, Lindsay and I just finished a facial. I, feel, I haven't had a facial in like years and it feels really nice. My skin feels super clear. She did like some extraction of my pores on my nose and on my like forehead and stuff. Oh my gosh, this is bad. The lens got dirty. This is what some of the grounds look like. It's really cloudy today, but so nice. Yeah, so nice. So this is what the room looks like. Two beds. Great. No, I need some. There's like candy in here. I mean, it's expensive as fuck. There's like a no. Look at this shower. It's like just open. So cool in here. Very excited. This is so nice. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I talked to Zero off. Seems like you guys have a good relationship already. Oh, definitely. She said one of you is here to work, though. You're going to be like shooting a bunch of stuff. I'm, I make YouTube she videos, so it. my life is my job. It is work. Okay. She but it's also. It into what she does. Gotcha. I don't want you to lose any followers having me you on your YouTube team. No. You sound awesome. I'm sure they'll like you. What's your name again? Brooks. Brooks? Yes, ma'am. Nice to meet you, Brooks. Nice to meet you, too. And you got Gucci right on the first try. That's impressive. Not many people in California can do that. I got lucky. All right, so here we have the menu options. We're getting dinner, but uh, we didn't have lunch, so. Ceviche, beer battered french fry. That sounds amazing. Chicken noodle soup, also sounds amazing. Tuna pokey, I love tuna pokey. Fungi pizza, like sounds kind of weird. Heirloom tomato pizza, sounds super, super Italian. California with a K salad, like that. And bistro burger, yum. All right, so our first dish is the tuna poke, and then we have beer battered fries with sriracha aioli. These fries are like amazing. Really good. I literally haven't eaten food all day, so this isn't that bad. Oh, See, so we got some wine. It's just a red blend. Cheers. And we got some pizza. It's like a full mushroom and arugula. And then mom got a bunless burger because she is gluten free. You have Hashimoto's disease, so if anybody else has that, you know the gluten free struggle. Or if you're gluten free or you have celiac disease. But this pizza is actually gluten-free. We can get the bread gluten-free. This is embarrassing. I know I don't have the no-show socks. This is very embarrassing. We are driving back and I know that this hair, I know it's not cute. It's just really humid and gloomy and rainy. We're driving back from Santa Barbara. We're headed back to Los Angeles. We had a wonderful time. Um, last night we just went in the jacuzzi after dinner and like relaxed and hung out, got a little ice cream. And it was a beautiful place to stay. Oh, it's a doggy. Look how cute. He just loves the so rain. Thank you. I know a lot of people here on YouTube like to watch the videos, but I'm getting a lot of feedback from my podcast crew who say that they love the podcast because they don't have time to watch YouTube videos. So if you're one of those like dual people, give the video a thumbs up and let me know because I personally love listening to podcasts if I'm driving. Um, we have a two hour drive tonight and all we've been doing is listening to podcasts. So let me know if that's you. What's going on guys? I told you guys about my assistant interviewing and stuff like that and I finally picked one and we've just had a meeting for three, almost three hours. It's been like two and a half. Anyways, this is Carrie. You're gonna see her in more videos. In my email list, I asked you guys, how can I help you? I got 300 or 400 emails or something with people coming back to me with like what their fitness struggles are, what their business struggles are, what they need help with, what their like challenges are so I can like provide that stuff to you guys. So we're just like going through the list of stuff right now and like organizing things and making sure that the stuff that you guys need help with is gonna be delivered to you in one way or another. I'm an organized person and so is Carrie. We're both very type A and we're just like sitting here organizing stuff. So one of the questions, I just like pulled out my camera because one of the questions was, what are the products that I'm working on and how I manage them and like time management and stuff like that. We're just sitting here. I've been, my brain has been like such a mess that I've needed her and she's just an angel that popped into my life. And everything, you guys are gonna see big changes from this YouTube channel, not in a bad way, in a good way, in the next few months and stuff like that because she's amazing and I'm so excited. We're gonna be doing lots of fun things. So I'll do an entire video about that if you guys are interested. Give it a thumbs up if you guys aren't.
<laughs> Carrie, where are you from? Um, I just moved here from Las Vegas, but I, I'd say like I'm from like the Palm Springs area. Nice. So like still California. <laughs> and she killed it in her interview. Where did you get such good interview skills, Carrie? My mom was a business manager for like six years at a nonprofit. No so kidding. I'm not kidding. I've learned how to do interviews since I was like 13. <laughs> She's legit. She she like impressed me so much. I was like, I need you. <laughs> so sweet. So sweet. <laughs> and mom's here helping too. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> With my guest today. <laughs> Whenever I go somewhere, I love all the food I eat, but I literally, I miss my bite meals. Like, I miss my pancake, egg white, and turkey sausages. I'm super basic. They, like, repackage the blondies into this, like, weird little thing. But it keeps it together pretty well, and they also have these vegan cookies that are bomb. So those are the things that I miss whenever I come home from traveling. Like, I, I eat them immediately. I ate a little bit too much immediately, actually. <laughs> but it's okay, we're gonna eat this and I'll talk to you guys in a sec. All right, y'all, so quickly what we're gonna do before I talk to you guys is we're gonna do a mini grocery haul. So, I just got home from Santa Barbara and I don't have any food in my house, so we're gonna quickly go into the grocery store and I'll show you guys what I get. For vegetables, we're gonna get spring mix, some shredded things. some pico, we got some blueberries. Guys, if you got a Nespresso machine, and you always get cashew milk, cashew milk does not froth. Almond milk does, so get almond milk. I'm gonna get some of these yogurts, I really like them. Ooh, apple cinnamon, yum. What do I get? I no, I don't know. These are the strawberry banana. These literally look so good. We're gonna do peanut butter and jelly. Also grab some whole eggs, I'm out of those. I haven't been able to make, to make a one carb waffle in literally so long. I think I have some cereal, so I'm good there. I don't really need bars. I have the bite meal snack, so I don't really need like protein bars. Ooh, jelly, totally need jelly. Sugar-free jelly. This is the kind that I get usually. They don't have like smuckers or anything. So this is usually the kind of jelly that I get. I like to put jelly in my oatmeal. I like to put jelly on rice cakes with peanut butter. It's delicious, so I have peanut butter at home. I've bought bread before, and I always say I'm gonna make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, but I don't end up ever doing it, so I just have bread and I just don't use it. So I prefer to get my carbs elsewhere. I prefer to get them from fruit or oatmeal or, ooh, Halo Top. I haven't gotten a Halo Top in forever. Vlogging in a grocery store is difficult, guys. Everyone's staring at me. I look really funny. It's fine, it's fine, okay. Then we have the cookie dough option. I like the lemon cake. I like vanilla bean, and I like red velvet. I'm gonna get some red velvet. Because it's bomb. I'm gonna get some. Okay. Everything we got in our little mini grocery haul here. And that's it. All right guys, with that grocery haul, I did want to get some fruits and vegetables. I love apples, I love blueberries. Um, I do like bananas too, but I'm not gonna be home for enough days to get um, a ton of fruit. When I buy food for myself, it's more so that I'm just getting basically some extra carbs, fruits and vegetables to fill up my day. I'm usually a creature of habit when it comes to eating. I love having oatmeal for breakfast. I love having the bite meals, pancakes, and egg whites. Um, if I didn't have the bite meals, I would probably just make some oatmeal, egg whites, and some bacon on my own. I love having um, like a salad, vegetables, and some meat in it. That's my little grocery haul. I'll talk to you guys at home. This is a ring light. I use it so I look better when I'm filming, I think. I think. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Um, I told you that I was going to talk to you about something at the end of this video. Here I am, <clears throat> ready to talk to you guys about it. Of this weekend, you guys saw that I went to Santa Barbara with my family. My mom and sister came to visit, and, and it's always really, really nice having my family around because it puts things back into perspective for me. It, just, it reminds me what's important in life, and what's important is having the people that you love around you and being a good person to them, uh, being engaged with them, and not being so overwhelmed with things that aren't actually super important. At the end of the day, 
my goal in life and your goal in life is to be happy. I posted about this on Instagram just because I was just like thinking about it. Sometimes I just think about things. <laughs> Sorry if I'm just like rambling about stuff sometimes. Being happy to me means that I live a life that is impactful. I'm making a difference in the world. I'm educating people. I really like teaching people stuff that I know. I like learning. I like being a student of life. I like challenging myself all the time. So if I have a life that's challenging, that's impactful to other people, and that's filled with love in my relationships, that's what makes me happy, honestly. And if one of those things isn't happening, then there's not like a full happy life. And at the end of the day, structure also makes me really happy only because I'm just like a type A kind of person. And with Carrie, I just met with her. We just made this like amazing plan. She's working on this like plan for my YouTube video content, my podcast content, my email list content, um, blog posts. We're gonna be doing Pinterest stuff for my business and just making sure that it like goes the way I want it to go and that it reaches the people that I want it to reach and that it helps um, you guys in as many ways as possible. I'm just trying to like refocus my content and just really make it as helpful as possible. Like doing vlogs is great. Sitting down and talking to you and showing you guys my life. Like I think that's important too because I think that you guys like to see it and I like to do it. But at the end of the day, this needs to be something that's helpful and I feel like I've gotten away from that a little bit just because like everybody that I know vlogs and it's it's harder and it's more difficult to like create something that's teachable, I guess. Yeah, I've just been doing a lot of thinking, especially with the business stuff. A lot of you guys are super, super interested in how I'm going about like organizing my business. In terms of the content, I just want it to be impactful. I want to make it like serving. I want to help people, I want to educate people. That's what I'm good at, that's what I like to do, and that's what makes me happy. And then it makes me happy to get the feedback saying that I changed someone's life. So what I'm planning on doing over the next half year or so is to create an online course to help people. It's gonna help people on multiple different levels and I'm so happy and excited about it and it's going to be about becoming the best online coach possible. There is a gap in the fitness industry and people that want to get started in it, they're like, okay, I'm gonna become an online coach. Let me get a certification. Sometimes it doesn't always go the right way. Sometimes you're not always getting the right information. Sometimes you don't know how to relay it to a client. Sometimes you don't know how to adjust things for someone else when you know how to do it for yourself. Sometimes you aren't really confident in your ability and taking someone else's life into your hands is really scary because you don't want that responsibility. Sometimes you don't know how to even get clients. You don't know how to get people to want you to be their coach. There's a lot of, lot of different things that people getting started in the fitness industry do. It's not always necessarily the right way. So what I'm doing, along with my coach William, I'm going to fly to see him in a few weeks. We're creating an online coaching program where it's just going to help people help people, <laughs> if that makes sense. And that's something that's just really fulfilling to me as a business person as to where I know I'm filling a gap for people that want to create a career in this. I know a lot of you guys are interested in that, like so many messages all the time asking me about that. And not only that, but those people who create their career for themselves are going to be helping people in a much better way. Having my family here just helped me put things back into perspective with that. And I'm also doing the challenge, which is also helping people on like a personal level, which is really nice. And I really am happy that I'm doing that because it's helping me reconnect to people. There's lots of fun stuff happening. I will keep you guys updated as I do stuff as always. Sorry there wasn't a workout in this video. I did not work out this weekend with my family. I did like a super quick workout the other day, but every other video will have workouts in them, don't worry. I appreciate you guys just listening to me. I It just makes me really happy that you guys just sit and listen to me ramble. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. All videos in the future will be like super structured and organized and I'm excited and I'll catch you guys in the next clip.